Hello, colors. Welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to discuss on some interesting updates. We begin with Abde El Zazoli as Real Betis move have been ruled out for the Barca attacker. We are going to discuss on that as we move ahead. Then secondly, talking about this report, let me that Barcelona City's 20-year-old academy ace Fermin Lopez, you know, as plan B if a new midfielder does not arrive. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, as we get right into the full stories, please do ensure to subscribe if you haven't, if you're just coming across the channel for the very first time, you are highly welcomed. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. As we approach the final week of this summer transfer window, Abde El Zazoli is one of the few Barcelona players facing an uncertain future at the Camp Nou. The young attacker is unsure about his continuity at the club, which has put multiple clubs in Europe on red alert, including Real Betis. So, according to Tony Juanmati, a move to Real Betis has been practically ruled out for Ace Abde. Who was, who was about 10 days to sort out his future. Although the Spanish journalist did not mention any particular reason, it appears the player himself wants to join a bigger club as he takes the next step in his career. The Moroccan international would have been ideally wanted to make an impact at Barcelona, but he has been unable to make much of an impact so far this season. A move away from Camp Nou, therefore, is the likely alternative as Barca also look to bring in some fresh revenue that may help them register few or new players from the markets. Although Real Betis might not be an option any longer, Abde El Zazoli still has other sitters in Europe this summer. In recent days, Bayer Leverkusen have emerged as a potential destination for the young attacker. As per Juan, Tony Juan Marti, it seems as though Abde himself likes the option of Leverkusen. The German club have developed an excellent reputation of nurturing young players over the past decade or so. Perhaps more importantly, Leverkusen can offer European football and even have the strength to compete for the UEFA Europa League title, although they might not be the clear favourites. Leverkusen, for your part, are also prepared to offer 20 million euros for the services of Abde, which could be optimal for the Catalans. Of course, Abde Adazuli has seen his future goes from down, in fact, from up to down. In terms of, he has not been, been like he has not been relied upon as many people expected. We know that yes, the season just begun, and we still have a long way to go. But the fact that Abde was seen as a player who will stay at Barca for sure and make a great impact, especially as Osman Dembele um, departure to PSG. But recent reports have made it clear that Barca still not 100% sure that the winger will stay at Barca this season, right? So there's still a long time to go for the summer. But um, there are certain players whose future as it stands, still not certain. Abde is one of those players. Real Betis were closing in on a move for the player until the level where there is no interest. Like the move for Real Betis has been completely ruled out. The player now, he wants to go to another club. A little bit bigger in stature than Betis. Bayer Leverkusen have shown interest. We even got some reports earlier today claiming that Bayer Leverkusen are willing to offer 20 million euros for Abde Ezazuli. And of course, the player, he likes the club. He likes the club. If Barca sells him, he will go but there. He wants to play but there, according to new reports. But let's not forget Abde's preference is to stay and continue to succeed at Barcelona. You know, he's from the Barca Academy and he really wants to stay at Barca. He had a very excellent loan spell last season at CA Osasuna. 
as well as coupled with a good performance at preseason as well as the under 23 Africa Cup of Nations. Many fans have called on Javi to give up the more chances to play. But it seems as though that might not still be the case as the player is strongly linked with an exit alongside Ansu Fati. You know, I think Barcelona have just added update to their exit list because they know that if Ansu Fati refuses to leave, then they will try to push Abde. Not like it's not like they want to sell both of them. You know, I think that's the idea now behind all this because we've been getting a lot of reports about Abde these days, as well as Ansu Fati, whose future still remains seriously doubtful, as the player faces uncertain future at the camp. No, but. That's how doing this because they want to ease registration for the rest of the squad as well as strengthen the squad by adding at least one more player after a right back like Joao Cancelo arrive. They want to go for one more player. So who can that be? Let's see how the transfer window ends as today it remains about nine days for the transfer window to come to a close. And then on to the final story of discussion. Why all of Barca's efforts and energy are currently employed in signing a new right back. Manager Xavi Hernandez has also requested the club for another attacking midfielder. The 43-year-old tactician remains keen on adding another midfielder to his ranks who can bring more goals and creativity to the table. Bernardo Silva had been Xavi's priority but a move for him was never going to be possible. Given the financial situation as such, Baza have set their sight on Tottenham Giovanni Lo Celso as an alternative and have even held talks with his camp about a possible move on loan. However, at this point, it is clear that for the club to be able to sign another player, there needs to be an exit apart from that of Clement Langlais. But with players like Ansu Fati, and Ferran Torres reluctant to leave, it may lead to a situation where Barcelona cannot sign anyone after Cancelo's signing. And in that scenario, Barca will turn their academy for relief, with Ferran Correa suspects saying that Fermin Lopez has been identified as Plan B if Lo Celso or another midfielder does join in. Xavi already has five midfielders in his disposal in the form of Pedri, Gavi, Ilkay Gundogan, Frankie de Jong and Oreo Romero. And in the scenario that nobody else arrives, Femin Lopez will take up the spot of the sixth midfielder in the squad. The 20-year-old Amasia A spent last season on loan at Linares and made a solid impression. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.